Okay, in this video, let's take a look at the golf swing of Wailing Sue. Playing great at the Pure Silk this week, just lighting it up with great iron play. So let's start with the driver swing from the face-on view here. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button as well. And if you want to get notified when I post a new video, just hit that bell icon and you'll get notified each time a new video comes out. So from the face-on view, small player, five foot two, but can move it out there, averaging over 250 a drive. But really, once again, she hits it straight, but it really is her, her iron player that's so amazing and accurate. With this driver, nice wide base at the setup here. Slightly weaker left hand than some players, and you'll see as that club goes back, that does allow the face to rotate open a little more than some players at this point. Nice wide turn, or extension rather, and as she gets it to the top, in this area right here, typically a player, the modern player has the face in a more square position here and the face less open, less rolled with the wrists and hands. But as she gets it up to the top and sets it, even though the face is more open and there's less of a flat left wrist, as she sets it and starts to sit down into this shot, here now that club face is in this classical modern position, more closed, left wrist, excellent position here at the top and the left arm completely back across her neck up here at the top here this left lat and left shoulder have really stretched out all the way up this line here and allow that left shoulder blade to really move to allow for that extra stretch back there and now this classical modern look left arm left wrist everything in perfect position so now as she starts pulling there's no slack in the rope. There's no hands and arms using the core, using the legs. And if you're a player who really is struggling with consistency, you wanna to try to find a way to get your body working in your transition that allows the arms to sit back there for a while and then be pulled down more by the body. If you can do it, if your body will allow you to rotate, it's a, the best way to play, the most consistent way to play. And you can see as she comes down into this position here, really getting an athletic move, looks very baseball-ish. I know on her bio it t says one of her hobbies is baseball, so maybe she played some baseball as a kid, but this is a very baseball-looking move, rotating open, and then using the ground for some force. And sometimes her, her timing is a little bit off, Sometimes the legs don't work as early as others, and she looks like she's adding a little bit of force from the upper body. But when it's in rhythm, she is ripping it. From the down the line view, we can see excellent setup position. We'll see that great takeaway on plane. Once again, a little more up and open than some players at this point that are out there playing well all the time. And then as she sits down now, she starts to look just like the rest of the players that are really doing well with that left wrist absolutely flat to the forearm. And look, like I said, look how that left arm and shoulder up here, this is stretched up across her, ch her chest and shoulder. And so as she starts to sit down and go the other way, that arm is just plastered to the body there. And as it sits there and she turns, very Sergio-esque, Lots of great players getting into this position where the body is in charge, right on plane. So from here, that club can just track right down the plane and nail that golf ball. Slightly under is fine for the driver here. Beautiful power release, just letting her rip down the fairway. Looking at an iron swing here, a little blurry, but we can really see a couple things. Let's get that plane line, line out for just a second. Ne uh, neutral posture. So the pelvis sitting neutral to the upper body, so it creates a, a straighter back without tension. The old butt out sort of curved back. Luckily that's going away because that is not good for your back. So keep the pelvis sitting neutral. And then this club works, like we said, up this plane beautifully. And then sitting, there's the move right there. That's the power move, the baseball move. And this club right smack on the plane at impact which she does a lot with her iron play. She hits so many iron shots that are just dead accurate. Distance and direction. And now she's down and rotating, and now she'll use the legs at the right time for power 
and for balance. Sometimes, like I said, the legs are a little bit late on the push with some shots, and then her upper body seems to lunge at the ball on some swings when she's not playing her best. But this is clearly here, right on track, hitting very, very accurate, solid golf shots. If you're also a player who struggles with consistency of your strike and hitting the club face in the sweet spot, Watch how as she starts down, she is using those legs, that athletic move here, and now she is turning. So the pull is coming from, the legs are working around, the hips are working around, the core is working around. And so everything from the left arm up here is pulled, tr pulled taut, like a, like a tight rope. So the arms are not pulling, they're not shortening, they're not pulling. So as she comes in through here, Sometimes people talk about using the right hand for power. Well, I assure you, hardly anybody is taking that right hand and actually hitting with it at the point of attack. It is going to release, but this is primarily a left hand or left side dominant move. And that rotates through the club, then naturally releases like you see here and goes flying through. And that's how those arms become nice and straight over on this side, is the natural force coming through and letting it rip through there. If you try to come into here with your right hand and actually power the right hand into the shot, I trust me, the, the grip pressure is going to change and you'll lose control of the club face very quickly. Let your left side be dominant and then get all the way through that shot. Let the right hand just relax and that will allow you to finish your swing on balance and in control. From a timing standpoint, sometimes people want to know when they should power up, when they should, should they use those legs and this pressure pushing back this direction cannot happen too early. You have to wait at least into this area and then be pushing up as that club is being delivered. That's the timing you want for power, not taking the right hand and throwing it at the ball. You wanna use the legs for power pushing up through there. And if it's that late in your downswing, you will not con lose control or come out of your posture. It will simply give you more club head speed. Let's take a look at this one here, a nice, nice approach shot. Not a big swing up that plane. Look at that athletic sit down move. The arms are not pulling down. She's sitting down. The arms are just staying suspended. And then back to the that down there. And then like we said on the earlier video, shaft exactly back on the plane. And then up and through it. Like I said, that kind of a movement with that face so square it's just hard to not hit accurate shots. The face is square and your timing is good. Of course, that one a little bit better than others, but I'm sure she'll take it anytime. And let's see one last shot here on an approach shot in there at about five feet. Great position on the way up. Same great move down, same rhythm, same timing. Arms pulled down by the body motion. On plane at impact, a well, three quarter hold shot. You can see with those hands there in great position, controlling that club face. Great balance, and here comes that shot in there, right about five, six feet from the pin. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And once, you, once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next one.